If I had to pick one word to sum it up, I would say thrilling. I would say passionate. Oh, I keep saying this in the rehearsal room. Banging. Like the music, they're all bangers. <laughs> For generals set out for era One never raised a fight The music that Michael has written is just it's so cool. He is borrowing from so many different cultures and using that to tell the story in the most effective way. And it's groovy and funky and weird and really hard. <laughs> I wanted to explore folk music from all over the place, basically. It should feel quite fresh, modern, but still have lots of these different influences that gives it a more worldwide appeal. I would say it's not a musical, it's a play with songs, but it's a play with a lot of songs, but it works in a very different way to the kind of musicals you'll see in the West End. It's a challenge. I think I've never done a play before and this is kind of the perfect thing because there's music in this play. So it's a nice little transition from musicals to plays because this is sort of a mix of the two. Episode two, so, so. the flight to the northern mountains. So, so. As Grusha Vajnadze fled the city so, so. on the great Grusinian highway, so, gateway so. to the northern mountains, so, so. the autonomous zone, so, so. she bought some milk so, so. and sang a song. So, so. So, so. How can a poor soul so, so. keep at bay? So, so. I think the translation's been done brilliantly and I like Chris's ideas to do with how he's going to stage it. Brecht puts theatre at the forefront of theatre. Like, there's no pretenses. Everybody knows we're telling a story and we're putting on a play. We're just taking away a barrier between us and the audience. You have a play within a play and it's set in a refugee camp to start with. You've got people from all over and then the magic is woven. The refugees become actors. The actors then become an ensemble of artistes. So all of their influences become a melting pot in that sense as well. Soldier, go safe to the fight The bloody battle, bitter battle Many don't... Ultimately, it's an epic, thrilling, very, very funny story about a young woman trying to save a child's life. It's a very mothering, nurturing part, which is something I've not really had a chance to play before. I think Fontaine from Les Mis was probably the closest I ever got to that, but this is that times a thousand. So I've been really looking forward to that. This is a play about motherhood. And are you a child's mother because you're their biological mother? Or are you a child's mother because you're the person that's cared for them and protected them and raised them? I think those are profound questions for any society. Awaiting your for return. Like any great writing, there's a universality about it. It's relevant whenever you stage it, and especially with the war so close to us, it will ping that much harder, I imagine. I think anything that can create a quirky look at such a difficult subject and draw people in, I think, deserves to be seen by as many people as possible. But I think an audience will be surprised by how accessible and funny the play is. You know, audiences always want to experience joy, and I think audiences always want to be thrilled and excited, and I think this play is joyful and thrilling and exciting. No one will take you, so I will take you, none other than me. I think this is a real chance to sort of open this up to a younger, fresher audience who may never have seen a Brecht play or only think of Brecht being something that they study for GCSEs or A-level. I honestly think it's got everything and I know that probably sounds like I'm just trying to sell you a show but I genuinely do think it's got everything. It's got an astonishing cast, it's got music, it's got movement, it's got an incredible set. I think this is going to be something fun. It's going to make Brecht fun. <laughs> Use that one. That was yeah. fun. Use that one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>